Okay, let's put everything together now and add and subtract rational expressions that do not have the same denominator. So I have a plus 3 divided by 15b cubed minus 2 divided by 12b squared. So if you look, we're doing subtraction of two fractions. And we've talked about this. Subtraction does not exist. Subtraction always means to add the opposite. So we're going to change our subtraction to addition by making the fraction behind it the additive inverse, the opposite. So that 2 will become the opposite, negative 2. So that's the first thing we take care of. Now, to add, we start singing. Adding fractions, easy as can be, all you need is an LCD. So that tells me to look. Are my denominators the same? No, they are not. 15b cubed and 12b squared are not the same terms. So we're going to need an LCD. Now, if you cannot look and figure out what the common denominator is going to be, don't fret. Go to the side and do your factor trees. So let's take 15b cubed and let's take 12b squared. 15 factors into 3 and 5. Those are prime numbers. b cubed factors to be b times b times b. Okay? Now we're going to factor 12b squared. So let me move that over. 12b squared. I can think of 12 as being 4 times 3. 4 is not prime. 4 is 2 times 2. 3 is prime. b squared is not prime. b squared is b times b. Okay, so there's my factor trait. Now to get my least common denominator, I take the most of every different prime term. Remember, it could be numbers, variables, or parentheses. Well, we have no parentheses, so we're looking at numbers and variables. So my least common denominator with numbers. Um, the smallest number is 2. I have two twos here. I have no twos here. So I have to take the most, two twos. Okay, threes. One three, one three. Well, they have the same amount, so I just need one. One five, no fives. I have to take the most. I'll take my five. Now I'll do my variables. 3b's, 2b's. Who has the most? 3b's. Alright, we're going to multiply that out and that's going to give me my least common denominator. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 5 is 60. b times b times b is b cubed. So now I know I'm going to make my denominators become a 60b cubed. So I'm going to rewrite my fractions. I know my denominators are going to be a 60b cubed, so I write that first. The song says, if you change the denominator, you must change the numerator. Sweethearts, we are changing the denominators. Here's the old denominator, 15b cubed, and we're changing it to 60b cubed. So we've got to figure out how this becomes this by multiplication. Well, the b cubed stayed the same. So all we got to say is, what do I multiply to 15 to make 60? And that would be 4. If I multiply the denominator by 4, to keep balance, I multiply the numerator by 4. But now, we have a binomial times a monomial. We know we have to distribute. a times 4 is 4a. Positive 3 times 4 is positive 12. You have just created your first equivalent fraction. All right, let's go over here. Same difference. If you change the denominator, you have to change the numerator. So let's look. What do we multiply to 12b squared to make 60b cubed? Well, 12 becomes 60 by multiplying by 5. b squared becomes b cubed by multiplying by b. So now we're going to take our numerator, negative 2, and we're going to multiply it also by 5b, and we're going to get negative 10b. Everybody's good? All right, so we've done the first two phrases of the song. Adding fractions, easy as can be, all you need is an LCD. If you change the denominators, you must change the numerators. Did that. So the rest of the song says, write the bottom. The bottom is 60B cubed. Collect the top. So we're going to write our numerator, 4A plus 12 plus a negative 10B. Now, can you really add those three terms together? 
No. From what we've learned, these are not alike. Apples, bananas, and money. Can't add it together. I am going to write it in the correct descending order, though. We know we like the A first, and then the negative 10B second, and then the constant positive 12 third. All right, so I'm writing the numerator in the correct order, even though I can't put those terms together. Now, the last statement in the song says, reduce the fraction. Reduce means to do division. But to do division, we have to be connected by that almighty multiplication. Right now, your numerator is not multiplication. So that's where your factoring rules come in. See how everything's tying in together now? So what, how, what rule of factoring are we going to use? We have 4a minus 10b plus 12. Well, I can use the GCF rule. I can factor out a 2. So if I take out a 2, I'll be left with 2a minus 5b plus 6. So now that I've rewritten my numerator in factored form, my denominator was already a monomial connected by multiplication. Now we can do some dividing. The only thing we can divide is 2 goes into 60. 30 times. So this final algebraic expression, rational expression is 2a minus 5b plus 6 over 30b cubed. One of the biggest mistakes you guys make is you do the hard part. You'll get the least common denominator and write it. You'll make the equivalent fractions and then right here at this step you want to start dividing. And that's crazy, because if you divide, you'll be back to where you started, the original. So if you just follow the song, the song is telling you step by step what to do. All right, see you in the next video. We'll practice some more.